Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. Let's begin by sitting up straight and tall or lying or standing. Wherever you're at is just the right way for you to participate today. We'll begin with the breath anchor, noticing the rise and fall of the body. And during this time, we will be focusing within instead of without. And so that means you'll be noticing your to-do list for the day and the big list of worries. But right now we have a very little job. And so those big lists get to go on the shelf for a little bit. Observing the breath and the body bringing everything right in, making everything small. Noticing the rise and fall of the torso. Again, always with gratitude, this miracle of oxygenation and our life cycle, uh, the, breath, the breathing that connects us to most other life forms on the planet. And maybe your breathing is easy and wonderful, or maybe it's hard and slow and strained because you're not feeling well. Either way, gratitude for the oxygen that's getting in and allowing you to participate today. Let's take this scan further, noticing where your feet make contact with the floor or mattress if you're lying down. And sending our awareness further up the body to the legs past the knees and thighs, on the way, observing any aches and pains, inflexibilities and immobilities, and just accepting the body exactly as it is, exactly where we are, without the need to fix, improve, change, modify. Sending our awareness into the sits bones where our bottom makes contact with chair or surface or wall. I'm just feeling grateful for the support. Observing any judgments that arise as you contemplate your bottom <laughs> and putting those aside. And sending our awareness into the belly. And really gentle with the belly. Give it a rub if you like. Noticing the rise and fall with each breath. Let's cradle this belly like we would an infant. The belly is the locus of our flight fight response. And it's separate from the brain. So when you're stressed out and we have mind body incongruence, the body takes over and this is where it starts is down in the belly. So we want the belly to feel safe. We want the belly to know that we don't need to be in flight fight all the time. And if we have mind, heart, body incongruence, the belly is generally in flight fight all the time. So 
So relax, let everything hang out. There's no need to be flat and little and invisible. Allow the belly to feel free and loved and safe. Calling to mind the in, in, in image of a very tender relationship between a mother and a very young baby. We've got to cradle the head and lift and lower so delicately. That's us with our inner child with the belly. And we can do it. We can do it. If you have plants or kids or pets, it's proof that you can do this. We can parent ourselves as well. And this brings up the intention submitted by a class member today about how to gain more consistency in our reactions under stress. So uh, this person submitting felt that he was doing pretty well, managing through normal situations well, and then all of a sudden something stressful arises and all of his responses were not responses that aligned with his highest and best as he perceived it. So one way we can um, develop more consistency is noticing where and why we're in flight fight and our belly is, is a great anchor for letting out the emotions of the body. Often we want to suppress them because we think they're bad. And that's what creates mind-body incongruence. We want to let those out in a safe, supported way. We need our um, flight fight response to be deactivated by feeling safe and loved. And where do we get that? It's from, it's from our own minds and hearts to make our body feel safe and loved. So let's spend a little more time here. Allowing the belly to relax fully. And cradling our inner child with great tenderness. knowing that whatever we may not have received as a child or in relationships, we now have the power, control, ability, willpower, consistency to provide for ourselves. And just observing what a great blessing that is to be able to care for ourselves mentally and emotionally. And how important that is, especially in the post uh, pandemic days where a lot of people are struggling with depression, anxiety, mental illness, especially a lot of the teens I work with so, you know, really looking to develop a practice of mental and emotional self-care. As we sit with the belly, let's allow um, observation of the feelings that arise. And these are the feelings that arise in flight fight. So panic, worry, stress, inadequacy, shame, fear, Allow those to arise. Take note of them. And let's take a deep breath in to offer love and safety and care, respect. And exhale to let go of what doesn't serve.
Each breath we take is another step toward being our highest and best. And toward providing a rewarding, fulfilling, and meaningful type of self-care. Again, breathing in to acknowledge places where we are fearful, where we are broken, and exhaling to release that which no longer serves. If you find you are clenching up the belly and hands and legs and shoulders, allow everything to relax and begin again. Reminding ourselves there's never a right and wrong. There's never a beginning or ending. There is only the cycle of acknowledgement, gratitude, and release. And let's wrap up our practice with a few final breaths. Again, committing to this process over the week to being very gentle with ourselves and aware of the emotional subtext coming out of our belly. So I would encourage you over the week to lay hands on your body, on your belly and let it hang out and visualize your body as a very young child that you need to cradle respect and be very tender with. Giving thanks to our belly for having done triple duty, trying to keep us safe, but let the belly know that we got this. And now we can care for the belly. Thank you for meeting with me today. We'll see you next week.